Okay, we're going to do the statue project. So if we look at this image here, here it is, control zero. We're going to put uh, image, it could be anything you want, any subject matter, a bodybuilder, a superhero, and you're going to make that person into a statue. Um, here is the page of the examples on studentportfoliony.com. When you click on it, there are examples of other people that made statues out of different you know, images and depictions, different textures. I recommend you use just one person. I don't think that you should use more than um, one like this individual did. Okay, so just choose one. Here is my example right here. I did Iron Man. And I'm going to show you exactly how we uh, go every step of the way to create this image here as a statue. And you're going to put a background. You're going to blur the back background. But the foreground can be a little bit in um, focus. And then you have the statue with the texture with some shadows. Here's how you do this. We get an image off of the internet and we place it into um, into uh, Photoshop and you want to get rid of the background. Again, to get rid of the of a background of an image, you go to Window, Properties, right here. And in the Properties menu, you click, I'll make sure you're on the correct layer, and then you click Remove Background, and it puts a mask on it, and it gets rid of the background. Absolutely awesome. All right, gone. The next thing we really want to do is get a background to put this image in. So I went to Google and I did some searching and I found a background, okay? High resolution background, right click, copy image. I'm going to go back into Photoshop. You're going to go to file, new. It's going to set up the image itself the way that the dimensions are. Just click OK, create, and we'll go to paste it in there. Bam, there is my background. Now I want to put my my image into this background one of the things I need to do is I gotta put my image into this background so before I do that I'm gonna go to my image and I wanna make this thing black and white so in order to make it black and white I'm gonna show you how to do that right now you gotta hold shift control U but you have to make sure you click on the subject itself and then after you've clicked on the subject itself inside the mask, you hold shift. So in other words, you're going to click on the, make sure that you click on the mask itself. All right. And that's over here. And by holding shift control U, you're able to uh, do it. So here's how we do this. We click right on the mask itself, shift control U. And now he is black and white. Another thing we're going to do after he's black and white, we're going to right click on him, convert it to a smart object. All right. Now you can see right here, and this is in Photoshop 2024. You're going to go to select all, edit, copy. You can cut it. I'll copy it. I'll go into my new background layer and I'll go to edit paste. And now he's there. He is. Now what I'm going to do with him is I am going to hit control T click on him himself control T and just keep him in proportion and shrink him down you know you could really put him any way you'd like I don't want him too small I want him a little bit more grandeur a little bigger right about there that looks really tough and I'm gonna make this his stance exactly where he's gonna be as a statue maybe even a little bit bigger if I can that's good move tool and apply there he is now he's in his rightful home Now that this image is inside its rifle home, we want to uh, get it ready for a really cool texture. So before we do that, we're going to duplicate the layer. So we're going to go to layer. We're going to go to duplicate layer. After you have opened up the duplicate layer menu, you're going to um, click on this drop menu right here and you're going to go to new. And you can keep the name, uh, the as thing as layer, whatever, but you're going to call it displacement. So you're going to click on displacement and you're going to hit OK. And it and it kind of like takes away all the other layers for a moment. What the displacement layer is, is a, a separate entity that we want to save to our desktop. So with this layer here, you're going to go to file, save as you're going to save it on your computer. You're going to go right to your desktop and you're going to save it. And make sure it's called displacement just make sure you've saved it correctly so go to file save as save on your computer 
You're gonna make sure it's called displacement, a Photoshop document, save it to your desktop, and you're gonna hit save. Boom, and just hit okay. And now you have saved it correctly to your desktop. Beautiful. Since we have saved this texture, oh, I'm sorry, uh, this displacement layer to the desktop, we can actually X out of it now. And now we're back to our original file right here. All right. And what we're going to do now is we are actually going to get a texture. All right. And the texture is going to be placed onto the, uh, the Iron Man in this particular case. All right. So I went to the internet and I found a nice texture. A beautiful stone texture high resolution it's 3000 by 2000 uh, I'm gonna copy this image I'm gonna go back into my Photoshop file and I'm gonna go to edit paste and boom I got a beautiful ginormous layer uh, I'm gonna shrink it and make it above it so this way it's like right about here and you know cover up your whole entire subject matter all right you can also take on this layer, lower the opacity, and you can see kind of where your grains are going to land and stuff, you know. So I kind of like this a uh, little bit more grainy over here. Whoopsie. On this one and lower the opacity a little bit. And you can see where the layers of grain are going to be and stuff. And that's pretty cool. So that's good. Next order of business. What we're going to do now is we're gonna magically going to give this image uh, this texture here. So in order to do that, you make sure that you're on the stone layer and you're going to go to filter you're going to go to distort and then you're going to click on displace you want to make sure that the horizontal scale is five vertical scale is five stretch to fit and you want repeat edge pixels selected and you're going to click ok and it's going to ask you to select the file go to your desktop scroll down click on displacement and hit open and you notice that it's shifted ever so slightly. That's a good thing. The next thing we need to do is we're going to actually put this texture on the statue itself. So in order to do that, you're going to click on the layer of the, the texture itself, which is this one. You're going to hold control. After you've held control, you will have selected both layers. Okay, so here's exactly once again how we do that. Holding control, you're going to select both layers, this one and the other one. Okay, so here's how I do that. Holding control, select this one and this one. And then you're going to have to hold control one more time and select this exact image. Okay. So again, like holding control, you're going to select on this exact image. So holding control, I click on the image itself. Boom. And you see these marching ants all around the exact subject matter of the image. That's exactly what you want. Sorry. So again, since we have him uh, selected here, we have this guy here. You're going to click on the top layer up here on the texture and you're going to create a layer mask and boom it puts the texture exactly on him um obviously it's a really uh it's covering his whole body you can't see anything and we're going to address that right now not a big deal that you can't see him we're going to address that right now in order to do that i'm going to make sure that i click on the texture itself and you're going to go to the blend mode and you're going to go to multiply and what that did is it just put the texture on him. It's just super dark. And we're going to address that now as well. Being that this thing is so dark, we want to address the, uh, the brightness of it. So we're going to revisit the levels menu. Clicking on this layer itself, you're going to hit Control L. And watch, you can move it to the right. And it brightens it up a little bit. See, you can also move this up and change and play with this a little bit. All right. He happens to look pretty good just like this. That looks like he's got a nice stone texture and he's looking sharp. You know, don't bring it all the way. It'll take it away. So I want it to be right about there is looking good. He looks like a piece of statue and he's uh, it's pretty good. Good statue there. We'll darken it a little bit more. Right about there. That's looking sharp. That's a good statue. I'm happy with that. I'll hit OK.
One of the other ways that you can brighten up the image is you're also going to click on the other layer, which is the original layer of the guy, and you go to Image Adjustments Levels menu, which is Control L, okay, right here, Control L, and you know the Levels menu well, but watch this, check it. When you move it to the right, now he's even brighter, and he looks like a real piece of stone, all right? His head's actually got this cool little crack in it, a little fracture. That's what it does. It sells it, all right? And that looks good. I'm happy with it. I'll hit OK. Now... I want to brush uh, some, create some depth onto my statue. So I'm going to show you guys how to use the brush tool now, just to enhance it. Now, in order to do this, I have to be able to click on the texture itself. All right. So you click on here, click on the texture itself, and then you're going to make sure you click the brush tool. Make sure that black is showing. Hit the drop menu. And we can make the size 40. I'm going to use a soft round edge. All right. You want the um, mode to be not on normal. It's going to have to be on multiply. After it is also on multiply, make sure that the opacity is like 40%. And you can keep the flow at 100. And watch what I'm doing now. I can brush black and create some depth onto my, my little statue here. And you'll notice that I'm slowly creating a little bit more shadows onto this guy. And he's got more depth now. All right. And you have to have a little bit of an idea of how to use light and look at shadows. All right. The bottoms of knees, certain parts of a body are going to have darker features. And this just kind of touches up your shadows of your uh, um, image a little bit more. Right. And around the back of the hand will have dark. And there you go. Now he's got some depth. You can darken up this part of his face a little line over here, and he's looking sharp now. As far as I'm concerned, the statue part is done. We are now going to play with the background. In order to do the background, we're going to make it, uh, watch, we're going to duplicate the background first. And on the top background, we are going to go to Filter, Blur, and we're going to go to a Gaussian Blur. You want it to be the radius 3.5. You could make it more if you wanted to, but 3.5 is legit. You know, if need be, I'll go to 4.5, which is whatever. It's fine. But um, I'll lower it to 3.5. I'll make it 4.0, all right, and hit OK. There you have it. Now, check it out. Here is a quick little hack. <coughs> what I do with this is... I am going to, on this one is the original, if I take it away, there's my, my new Gaussian Blur. Check it out. By clicking on the Eraser tool and making the brush size, you know, make it like a 480 in this case. Watch, on the bottom layer, watch this. I'm just going to kiss the bottom and erase just the bottom part and then boom, look. What I did is I erased this part of my top layer, but look. I made this other one revealed in the bottom in focus, and the top layer is in uh, in the blur mode. So there you have it. So now you have the statue standing in the middle of New York City. You've put some shadows on them, and you've blurred the background, but yet you've made the front ground and fo foreground in focus. And that is the statue project. So have fun with it. Definitely play with the shadows. You know, make sure you sell it. And give it good light. You don't have to be a you know a complete artist to know how light shines on an object. You can just take a look at the way that it's darker in some areas and capitalize on it, make it darker, create more depth. And that's how you'll sell your shadows of your statue. And that's it. Now you've created a statue in Photoshop from any subject matter that you'd like. Thanks.